Okay, some of you are having trouble, one, uh, with editing the second data set and then also uh, actually graphing the second data set. So this little quick video will show you both of those. Hopefully for most of you this will answer the majority of the questions. Uh, first of all, I'm going to enter some random data just because I um, need some data to do here. 20, 10, I'm going to just put some random data. Uh, oh, that should work. 20, 40, 60, 80. All right. Um, I need one more piece of data here. 100. All right. Now, there's one data set. I, first of all, I want to label this. If you haven't already figured it out, you double click on data set. I want to name it. This is uh, growth in uh, nutrient broth. I could add some comments. Okay. Uh, I need to not X's and Y's. Double click on it, opens it up. This is going to be the time and the units. Don't put the units up here, put the units in here. Otherwise, you'll get double units on your axes, you'll see. Okay, I can, in the options, I can have the marks change, but right now I'm going to leave them the way they are. Okay, and the Y is going to be absorbance. A B S six sixty and short name. I don't want Y as the short name. I want A six sixty. All right, the units there are none. Done. All right. So there's one data set. If I want a second data set, I do not make more columns in this data window. Instead, under data, it's new data set, and you'll see it'll automatically assume the same things in case you have. Uh, the similar axes, but you could change them. This is not going to be ch nutrient broth too. It's actually going to be in uh, minimal salts broth. Okay, the times are going to be indeed the same. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Uh, and it's the same absorbance right? in this, but I want to change the color here to make it a little more of a contrast. So I'm going to do a royal blue. Um, Okay, column definition, that's all the same. Done. Uh, I'm going to put some different numbers in here. 12, 16, 22, 24. All right, so now you notice the second data set does not appear on the graph. And you say, how do I get the second data set to appear on the graph? So first thing you want to do, you notice I'm just making the data window a little smaller. If I double click on the graph, it will pull up a few things. Place where I can put a title, uh, growth curves, for example. Right. Over here you have axes options. Right On the y-axis, right, what I want to do is I have growth in nutrient broth and the growth, in, uh, if I click on this, I want to graph the blue ones here, the absorbance at 660 for the other set of data. So I have the growth in the nutrient broth and the growth in the MSB on here. If I click OK now, you should see both curves appear. Again, double click in there. Axes options, you need to select both the growth in the NB and the growth in the MSB and put the, what you want on the Y axis. The last thing you may want to do is put a legend on here. So I can, over here under Analyze, put a legend, and it will put a legend that I can move around. And based on the titles I've used in my data sets, it will name these here. That should be what you need. Uh, give it a go. If you get in trouble, let us know.